I have not seen anyone run a quadra jet on an old LS motor. I mean, in theory, this thing should be fuel injected. It should have left it injected, but I was not happy with the Holly's fuel mileage. No matter what I did, got his poor mileage. So, I mean, yeah, quadra jet's a better option for fuel economy, but ultimately I should have left her injected. Show it off a little bit. Fuel pressure regulator. Moved the gauge. Set it to 6 PSI. It's a 68 quadra jet off a of 350 Chevy and a VET. To mount it on the LS1 Edelbrock intake. I unfortunately, mind you, unfortunately, I don't like spacers. I'd use an adapter, which causes some wide open fuel issues, in my opinion, when you're using a spread bore carb on a square bore. But what are you going to do? Drop the bracket back here. This is an Olds bracket, an Olds 307 bracket. Because I have a 204R, that's what came, that's what they used from the factory for the proper link it or for the proper um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for uh, geometry when it comes to the cable being pulled out and moved or shifting over here is simply the vacuum hose the main hose which splits off here for my power brakes and it sneaks back here for my PCV system works pretty good oh the other thing I moved before I started up to give you a provision on the intake here for the Edelbrock, I'm sorry, for the MSD ignition controller. I moved it over here in the fender for obvious reasons. It just gets too hot. I don't like my electronics around the heat. I'm going to fire this pig up. I'm going to give it a pump. It's a little rough, I need to... Never seen one with a quarter jet. There's a guy on YouTube with a Monte Carlo with an 800 CFM Q jet. That thing runs like a great date. He won't talk. Can't ever get him to answer any questions, so I decided to take matters into my own hands. Let me know what you guys think. Besides the negative comments, because I should have left if you injected, I know, but I like carbs. Let me know.